Shout out my wealthy family, man, and happy Sunday. Do you understand me? For today's video, we finna be talking about Germany. And you already know that's the most wealthiest and most iconic channel ever. So go ahead, stay tuned, bro. We finna go ahead and get straight to it on, bro. <music> my wealthy family so i really do have a strong question for y'all when was the last time that you journal my g like no like no funny shit g when was the last time you actually sat down took the time out your day 10 to 15 minutes and actually wrote out your feelings you understand me journaling will definitely help you in the long run do you understand me journaling is one of the top things that you can definitely do to let go of things to release them to understand your feelings to understand yourself help with your mental health and also you know your self-esteem god damn it you understand me now when it does come to journaling one thing that i definitely do is do a journal prompt now you can find journal prompts on pinterest tumblr google goddamn you can find journal prompts anywhere now when it does come to journal prompts it's basically like the topic the header you feel me the title of what you're writing now you do have some journal prompts that has to do with shadow work self healing work goddamn it you know what was the main thing that traumatized you how can you you feel me let that go all these different things that can definitely help you in the long run also journaling is definitely good for mental health a boost of confidence, you feel me? Goal achievements, and also it helps with your critical thinking as well. Now, I know for me, I did get into journaling. I wanna say back in 2019, 2020, when I had my first spiritual awakening and when I was just going through all these ups and downs, all these different emotions, you understand me? However, journaling has helped me a lot. It helped me understand myself. It helped me get out my feelings when I really don't have anybody to talk to. And also, it helped me just let a lot of things go. Now, when it comes to journaling, I say you just want to sit down, play some calm music, my G. You feel me? Some calm music, goddammit, and just get everything out. One thing about journaling, you should date it always date your journal because you also get to track how far you came you understand me it's like a um like a document you feel me? it's like a documentation of your own life you feel me now i done ran through goddamn it old journals you feel me because i always caught myself late at night just writing you feel me writing out my feelings right now how i feel about the day you dig what i'm saying what i'm looking forward to for next month you feel me the things that i want to change and all these different things that can definitely bring more awareness to yourself now i know it's hard because a lot of people really don't like to write you feel me a lot of people don't like to journal or keep a lot of things in but also how can you heal and how can you elevate and prepare in your life if you don't get it out you dig what i'm saying and i know sometimes therapy is costly and shit like that some people can't afford therapy but you know what you can't afford a goddamn pen and a goddamn notebook from goddamn dollar tree goddamn i ain't gonna hold you dollar tree family dollar jewels walgreens target goddamn it fuck you talking about amazon do you understand me shorty you can afford those things you know you want to use the tools that is around you to help you and to also elevate your mindset, your spirit, and also your physical and health-wise as well. Now, when it comes to writing out your feelings and, you know, just sitting down and actually being calm in a nice headspace, you want to focus on being real with yourself and being honest with yourself. Now, I understand that's the most hardest thing to do. You feel me? Trust me. I went through the shit. But I know for a fact, being real and being honest with myself is actually one of the most heartwarming things that you can do. And it also, it helps you come to a realization with yourself and also the things that you went through in your life. Now, you can journal, you can journal like any other fucking day. You dig what I'm saying? Personally, me, I know I can't journal every fucking day like that shit is a lot bro i tried doing that and i really just caught myself just writing just to write you did what i'm saying instead of just like actually taking the time out to pour out my feelings or like to set goals or you know to just basically know what i'm looking forward to i just used to write just to motherfucking write bro now i take time out i write like i want to say every other week every two weeks you dig what i'm saying 
Or sometimes I might just write when I need to write. You feel me? When I get that feeling like, nah, man, you gotta write this shit out, man. Jot this shit down. You dig what I'm saying? Another thing is when it comes to journaling, like I said before, it helps you achieve your goals. You dig what I'm saying? Because when you're just so adamant about, you know, achieving your goals and, you know, living a certain lifestyle that you want to live and get in a new place, you feel me? Get in a new job. You dig what I'm saying? You know, even with yourself, you dig what I'm saying? Elevating your mindset, you know, your craft, your creativity. Write down the things that you want to do in your life. You actually are manifestation you feel me you're manifesting it as well you dig what i'm saying and also you're gonna remember when you write things out you're gonna remember okay on this day i did this so let me go ahead and actually step towards it you understand me let me actually go ahead and do the things that i need to do invest in myself work on myself you feel me like I remember telling myself a couple of years ago, like, you know, I, I can't wait till I start YouTube. I can't wait till I take off with modeling and all this other shit. You dig what I'm saying? And me actually journaling made me want to do it. You feel me? It made me want to actually put the actions in real life and just skyrocket with it. You feel me? And, you know, journaling has some ups and downs. You feel me? You know, when you journaling and stuff like that, sometimes you might cry. You dig what I'm saying? Sometimes you might look at it and be like, damn, I can't believe I went through all this shit. You feel me? Like, I literally cannot believe that I set myself up for all this shit. But that helps you come to a realization with yourself. You understand me? That shit helps you come to a realization with yourself, help you see the things that you used to do and the things that you are doing now and the present that's going towards your future. You feel me, shorty? Like, it's like another goddamn world. It's like you opening up like a whole nother thing that you didn't even know that you could do, but you can do it. Why? Because you that nigga. Do you understand me, shorty? It is a good thing to write, man. Even if, I know some people might like to type, goddamn it. Even if you like to type out on your computer or laptop or even in your phone, always take the time out to journal and get the things done for yourself. Now, I know mental health is really a big thing. You dig what I'm saying? Sometimes people don't know who to go to. Sometimes people are scared. You dig what I'm saying? But when you are writing out the things that you are dealing with, you are literally putting your fears on a piece of paper. And as you're reading it back to yourself, you're realizing that, okay, this is my biggest fear. This is what I'm scared of. But I know for a fact, if I write this down, and actually face my fears, I know for a fact I can conquer anything and everything through the grace of myself. Do you understand me, bro? A lot of times when you are journaling, bro, you are opening up a big ass vulnerability within you. You feel me? And oftentimes people say they don't know how to be vulnerable. They don't know how to, you know, let their guard down, this, that, and the third. Journaling is really the first step for you. You feel me? Journaling is really the first step for you to actually let your guard down have a peaceful mindset, you understand me? And you know, just to get everything out because a lot of times, like I said in my old video, bro, let that shit go. You feel me? Just release it, you know, let it go. Be grateful for yourself, you feel me? And now, I know sometimes people schedule me busy, you know, all this and that. But for me, sometimes I like to write in the morning or I like to, you know, write at night type shit. Mainly, I like to write at night because, I don't know, it's just something in my head. Like, I be up. Like, sometimes I be up late as hell. Sometimes I go to sleep at like 9 o'clock. But when I be up late as hell, I just get to writing. You dig what I'm saying? I just get to writing, writing, you know, the things that I'm feeling. You feel me? What I'm looking forward to. You dig what I'm saying? It's just, it's a good outlet, to be honest with you. Journaling is really a good outlet for yourself for your safety and also for your mental health as well. And it can definitely boost up your um your self-confidence too. Fuck you talking about. It was one time when I was feeling at my lowest. Shit, I remember when I wrote, you know, I was like, I weighed a certain, a certain pounds, you feel me? You know, I was the heaviest I ever been, bro, and I ain't like that shit, you dig what I'm saying? So when I used to write, I'm like, man, I wanna lose this weight, you feel me? I wanna become the bigger and better a bigger and better version of myself, goddammit, you feel me? You know, I just wanna be this person that I know I can be, but I have to do the work. So what I did was I wrote a future letter 
a letter to my future self, God damn it. And I said in a letter, like, you know, I'm going to be this type of person. I'm going to be driving this type of car. You feel me? I'm going to be everywhere with this fashion shit. You feel me? Like, I'm going to lose all this weight. You feel me? I'm finna love myself more, pour more into myself more. And as I'm writing it, it's like I start seeing it more and more and more. And the more I start saying, I'm like, oh, no, nah, bro, I got to bring this shit to life. Do you understand me, shorty? Like, I got to bring this shit to life. You dig what I'm saying, shorty? So the more that I start doing that, the more I start putting it into real life. And the more I start putting it into real life, I start seeing a change in myself. And once I start seeing the change in myself, I'm like, oh, yeah, we can do this. You feel me? I can do this. You dig what I'm saying? And the more that I start seeing the change with myself mentally, physically, emotionally, you dig what I'm saying? The more I start feeling real good. You know, it just, it just helped me in a lot of ways that I didn't even know that it was gonna help me. And I do want you guys to actually start journaling. You dig what I'm saying? Start writing things out, you feel me? At least you can do it just like, you can start with just like once a month, you feel me? And then once you get that feeling of like, you just like got so much bottled up, you dig what I'm saying? And like ready to release like hella shit, go on here, open up god damn it i didn't drop something fuck it go ahead open up that notebook and just write it all out and i promise you you will feel so much better gang i'm not gonna hold you i promise you you will feel way better than how you was feeling right then and, and trust me i know bro like i know this shit you feel when i ain't finna sit up there and lie to y'all god damn it bro i really know this shit, and i really just want y'all to get better mentally spiritually physically financially and health wise you dig what i'm saying just take the time out your day write everything out play some calm music you dig what i'm saying and just get straight to it you feel me bro ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of straightening you feel me you know everybody needs a little bit of straightening here now you feel me but you know, journaling is like really one of the key things that you can do to get everything out. And it makes you feel so good about yourself. You feel me? It's like it gives you a peace of mind, a peace with your spirit. Also, it will just make you do more for yourself as a whole. You feel me? To intertwine with your journaling, with your feelings, and with this body, your physical body as well. It'll just really solidify you and just bring you so much peace on the gas, shorty. I ain't lying to y'all. Hell, you time about like this. It's fun, shorty. Like, I'm telling you, journaling is really motherfucking fun, G. And like, you'll just get out everything. You'll feel so much better about yourself, you feel me? And also, if you look back at the dates and if you read them like a book, bro, you'll be like, damn, I went through this shit. But damn, I accomplished this shit. But like all this shit that's led up to me, who I am right now at this time of moment, and I feel so much better about myself. Do you hear me? Do you understand me? God damn, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Any time, bro, shorty, nah, for shit show, you know, we really doing big things over here. You feel me? We getting better mentally, spiritually, health, physical, emotional. You know, just everything. We gonna get better. You know, we gonna elevate like a dove. You know why? Cause I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. Fuck you, time out, shorty. <laughs> but nah, man, I don't want y'all to just go ahead, get a notebook, go ahead and journal. You dig what I'm saying? Get all your feelings out. And I want y'all to have an amazing day. Do you understand me? Have an amazing day. Be blessed. Go on here, succeed, create, do what you got to do. And I'll tune in with y'all next time, my wealthy family. I love y'all to death. On the game show, do we out of here? Every time, about for shit show.